her friends. I am privileged to be here today at the invitation of the campaign to make poverty history. As long as poverty, injustice, and gross inequality persist in our world, none of us can truly rest. The global campaign for action against poverty can take its place as a public movement alongside the movement to abolish slavery and the international solidarity against apartheid. In this new century, millions of people in the world's poorest countries remain imprisoned, enslaved, and in chains. They are trapped in the prison of poverty. It is time to set them free. Like slavery and apartheid, poverty is not natural. It is man-made and it can be overcome and eradicated by the actions of human beings. Overcoming poverty is not a gesture of charity. It's the protection of a fundamental human right. The right, the right to dignity and a decent life. While poverty persists, there is no true freedom. The steps that are needed are clear. The first is ensuring trade justice. Trade justice is a truly meaning way for the developed countries to show commitment to bringing about an end to global poverty. The second is an end to the debt crisis for the poorest countries. The third is to deliver much more aid and make sure it is of the highest quality. The world is hungry for action, not words. Act with courage and vision. I am proud that to wear the symbol of this global call to action. This white man is from my country. In a moment, I want to give this band to you, young people of Britain, and ask you to take it forward, along with millions of others, to the G8 summit in July. I entrust it to you. I'll be watching with anticipation. We thank you for coming here. Sometimes it falls upon a generation to be great. You can be that great generation. Of course, the task will not be easy, but not to do this would be a crime against humanity, against which I asked all humanity now to rise up. Make poverty history. Make history. Then we can all stand with our heads held high. I thank you.